Well, the Tri-Cities Composite Squadron of the Civil Air Patrol is accepting applications for flight crew positions. The organization is based right out of the Tri-Cities Regional Airport. Joining us this morning with more are Captain William Cox and Lieutenant Jennifer Grigoriev. And it is great to have both of you with us. Thank you very much. Well, first of all, let's talk a little bit about the local Civil Air Patrol that we have here. Tell me yes. a little bit about some of the things that you guys do. Well, we are the Tri-Cities Composite Squadron, and composite means we are composed of both youth and adult members. So uh, let me tell you a little bit about Civil Air Patrol in general. And I'll say, first of all, the breadth and depth of what's involved in Civil Air Patrol, we can't even scratch the surface of it here today. But it is a, a congressionally chartered organization that serves as the civilian auxiliary to the U.S. Air Force. So we're there to support the Air Force in non-combat humanitarian roles. Uh, we have uh, 66,000 members nationwide, um, and we're divided up. We follow Air Force standards as far as organizational structure, uniform, protocols, ranks, th things like that. So uh, I think another good way to describe Civil Air Patrol is if it can use practically anyone with any skill set mm -hmm. in, 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 in a way to serve their nation and their community. We have uh, members, we start at tw age 12 for our youth program, which is called Cadets. Okay. And we can, uh, and we have members in their 80s still active. So it doesn't matter if you're a veteran or always been a civilian like myself, uh, there's a role for you in Civil Air Patrol. And I can only imagine the skill set you learn, both personally and professionally. Exactly. That's the great thing about it. I mean, you're giving, but you're also receiving a lot of really good learning and training. Uh, it's quite amazing. And for for cadet component, which is like ages 12 through 20, uh -huh. a best, the best way to describe that is it's a, like a hybrid between scouts and ROTC. Okay. You're learning a lot of the skills that you mm -hmm. would learn in either of those organizations. Yeah. And Lieutenant, tell me a little bit about some of your experiences through this organization. So I'm the emergency services officer in our squadron and my uh, focus tends to be more on the, the emergency services side of things. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I help teach uh, the cadets and the adults skills that they would need to participate in, in real missions. Um, and that, that can be anything from um, uh, searching for downed aircraft, looking for missing persons, uh, the air crew, uh, specifically, um, they do a lot of either trying to coordinate with the ground teams to find things that are on the ground, or they do aerial photography kind of stuff, like if there's a flood and you know FEMA needs to see what's going on on the ground, um, the air crew will be up there doing things like that. So Wonderful. Yeah. And so now is the time. If someone says, man, my son or daughter or might be really interested, mm -hmm. how do they go about even starting to learn more and, and possibly joining? Yeah, and we encourage people to attend our meetings. Our meetings are open at any time. We meet Monday evenings from 6 to 8.30 at Northeast State. You can search for, here's, here's a good reference, GoCivilAirPatrol.com, mm -hmm. GoCivilAirPatrol.com. And there it has a unit locator, which is the squadron level. Uh, and there you can find a squadron near you. Now for most people probably it's the, our squadron Tri-Cities, but there's also Greenville, Morristown, Sevierville. Yeah. Uh, there's uh, all kinds of squadrons. So you find the one nearest you, reach out to that contact, uh, find out where the meetings are, and attend and start meeting. But you can learn a lot about Civil Air Patrol on, uh, on, the, on the Go Civil Air Patrol site. Right. Uh, but the membership is very easy uh, for youth. Uh, it's just an online application. Uh, but we do uh, ask that people are sure before they make that commitment. Because once, yeah. once you're committed, we want you to be participating. All right, well, Captain, thank you so much. Lieutenant, great to have you here. We're gonna give everybody some information. Again, as he mentioned, they do meet on Monday evenings. For more, you can contact the number that is there on your screen. You can also check out the website, a great resource if you're interested. And they do have an upcoming event. You can scan that QR code right there for more information. A free event, great way to learn more about them.